This is an absolute must for every YouTube creator, adding timestamps or chapter markers like this to each one of your YouTube videos. Luckily, it's super easy to do, and in this video, I'll show you how. First thing we're gonna do is actually create our timestamps. So what I do is when I'm reviewing the final draft of a video just like this, I'll play the video and then just make a note of each chapter and their corresponding timings. So what I do is I open up my notes app and then I just write the time and then the chapter right next to it, just like uh, this. So you're gonna have the minute, colon, seconds, and then the name of the chapter. I try to include keywords that are searchable in the chapter name, just cause I know that, you know, this just will help with searchability if that's obviously relevant. If it's not, then just name the chapter, whatever you want. Now, three very important things to keep in mind when it comes to your timestamps. The first is that the very first chapter that you list has to be zero colon zero zero. Otherwise the chapter markers won't actually show in the YouTube player. These timings will still be clickable in your YouTube video description, but if you actually want the chapters to show up in the YouTube player, you have to include zero colon zero zero. So what I usually do is just kind of come up with a different name for the same video, or I just even write the title. Next thing to keep in mind is that you do need at least three chapters for the chapters to show up. So make sure that you have at least three chapters. And then the last thing is there needs to be at least 10 seconds between chapters. So basically each one of your chapters has to be at least 10 seconds long. You can see here that this first chapter, my intro is 20 seconds long, so that's okay. Uh, but there definitely needs to be at least 10 seconds for each chapter. Now, once I've finished my chapters, I'm just gonna copy this. Then I'm gonna head on over to YouTube and in the video description, that's where I'm going to just paste these time markers. And once I hit save like this, you'll see changes saved down here. If you open up the video, you should be able to see the chapter markers and here they are. So you'll see that the uh, chapters are actually broken up here and each of these links is clickable as well. So a viewer can go straight to that point in the video. Think of the timestamps like the table of contents in a book. Not only does it make for a better YouTube experience, but it allows the viewer to find exactly what they're looking for when it comes to your content. And it allows them to easily replay any section of your video if they need to, which is super helpful for tutorial content. Timestamps also help with the searchability of your videos because these timestamps actually show up in Google searches. So like I said, a must for every YouTube creator. So if you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in this video next. Catch you guys later. Bye.